During the 2010 Academy Awards, the whole world was shown a tribute to the horror film. We got clips from Twilight, Edward Scissorhands, and Little Shop of Horrors. You know, the movie where Steve Martin's singing on a motorcycle. When I was younger, just a bad little kid. Look, I have nothing against these movies, all right? Some of them are pretty great. It's just when I think of horror, I tend to think of this. Well, I've got a little tribute to the horror film for you. So, get some popcorn, grab a loved one, and get ready for some hair raising. Mind blowing. Buckets of blood that'll have you puking your guts out and begging for more. Brace yourselves. This is the best bloody horror moments in movie history. It's no secret that horror movies get a bad rap. But ever since the dawn of storytelling, audiences have demanded that their senses be abused, that their limits be pushed. That that invisible line separating us from the eternal unknown get crossed time and again. And not in the name of masochism or depravity, but purely in the name of fun. You know what the naysayers fail to realize is that horror is the ultimate in escapism. Where else can you see a zombie fight a shark? Or Johnny Depp get eaten by a bed? It's hard to pinpoint where exactly horror and gore first fused on film. But it's hardly a new development. Just check out Boonwell's 1929 seminal short, A Chien Andalou. Hollywood went a little censor crazy during the reign of the Hays Code, forcing many of the murders and mutilations off screen. The effect was often chilling. Showing us grisly images is one thing. Leaving the gory details up to our imagination? That's another thing entirely. Other countries didn't have the same uptight so-called standards of decency, and at times reveled in the repulsive. Take a look if you can at this 1950s French film, Eyes Without a Face. It was only a matter of time before Hollywood cracked and succumbed to the demands of the audience at large. Leave it to Alfred Hitchcock to not only be the best, but also the boldest. And after that, there was no going back. Gone were the days of the deadly face grab. No! Here was the arrival of something more primal. More brutal. Despite the occasional lack of authenticity, something more real. Eventually, zombies like this Car four, go back. became zombies like this. And things from another world went from acting like schoolyard bullies to being straight up nasty motherfuckers. Now if you're a little squeamish, you may want to close your eyes for this next part. Horror endures because unlike any other type of story, there's no safety net for the ordinary. Only the expectations of the extraordinary. Nothing is sacred, and anything can happen at any time.
Kids? Dead. Nightmares? Reality. Insides? Outside. The only certain thing about horror is that after all the blood has been shed, all the heads have rolled and all the guts have been spilled out in all their gory glory, you still find yourself safe, in one piece, and for the most part, not mentally scarred. For the most part. You may not have noticed, but I haven't even shown you a movie made in the last 20 years. Now that's not because movies have gotten less violent. Because they haven't. In fact, the filmmakers of today who were traumatized as children and loved every minute of it have been more than happy to accept the baton from the older generation. I just want to save some for next time. Before we go, I wanted to end on a high note, so I saved the best for last.